Welcome to Hollow One. This is real. First of all, I'd like to give up. My name is Gory T. Howard, and I do so by Shimon Scout Shop. Second of all, I'd give the whole lot of Gory to Ella Shatar's history and pay the way for us to come in and come in the street. Also, I'd give a strong solo one to the brother who are us in the street. So, you can have the license to take and sing from the lesson in case of this world. I was like, yeah, I'll give you a strong solo one. Today, we're going to have a quick video on uh, Breaking Mother's Day. Because, in case you didn't know, Mother's Day is wicked, and and yes, it's another idolatrous day. Like trying to, uh, when the Greeks and Romans try to worship Rhea or Sinea, uh, which is like the Queen of Heaven. And um, there's like somewhere in Jeremiah, I advise you to look it up that when we were celebrating the Queen of Heaven, we just would not give her up, especially a woman. But the woman, you know, I called the men to do it too. But anyways, let me rebuke you real quick. Negative 2012. One day thy father and thy mother had a days that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Huh. So notice it didn't say honor thy mother every uh, every first or second Sunday of the month. Uh, of the month of May or honor thy mother every uh, May 7th. No, but like, or May 8th, every day it is, but it says, honor thy father, honor thy father and thy mother, that the days, which, that thy days may be long upon the earth, which the Lord, I got everything, because like, like, it didn't give a set date, it's so like, it's just like telling you to honor them every day, not just like, one day, and then just be wicked to them, all the other days. But let's see what, uh, the Messiah said about all this. Book of Luke. Uh, I believe it's. 11. Verse 27. Luke 11. 27. And it came to pass as he spake these things. A certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said. Bless the woman that bear thee in the paps. That thou suck. Cause like you know. Like probably Eve. Like she said, she said to you, like, oh, like, your mom must be blessed, like, because uh, she uh, gave me birth, and, like, you sucked of her breast. But this is what Yahusha said, but he said, yeah, rather, but he said, nah, nah, but blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Calm. So, like, Yahusha, uh, shut that stuff down real quick. He said, uh, like, like, other, like, better than that, basically, or rather than that, blessed day, like, it's better to, like, uh, like, you're more honorable, if you keep the law studies and commandments, then, like, you're more honorable than Mary, like, even though, like, Mary, uh, Brady, or Hausha, which cuts, like, a um, like, um, them Catholics, I thought, like, I thought was and Mary and stuff. Um, my last verse, I wanted to get is um mm, let me see the uh, Luke sixteen and Luke sixteen and verse fifteen and he said unto them ye Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God know your hearts. Are right, now this is a pro again. For that which is highly esteemed among men is upon is an abomination inside of God. Huh. So like Mother's Day is highly esteemed above men. Like you just go to social media. Like you would see everybody posting their mothers and uh, saying happy mother's day and stuff like that. But even though like it's highly esteemed among men, it's an abomination to the Lord. And if and uh, you don't have to believe me, but I suggest you read it and you look it up for yourself. But it goes back to paganism and idolatry. But if this is my quick warning or reminder since like the day is almost over. But anyways, I like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. I personally edify. Shalom.